Look at me, guys. Look at me. Happy Halloween. This armor is so sick. The Nightcrawler armor. We're back with another After Pulse video. Before we get into the video, I want to thank all of you guys who used my link yesterday to download the game. I'm going to do it one more time. Use the link in my description to download the game. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. It'll take you right to the App Store where you can get the game for free. So again, go down in the description. Click. It'll take you to the App Store where you can download the game for free. Now, I wanted to make this video because a lot of you have been having issues downloading the game. My sincerest apologies. Here's the deal. This is a next-gen game with the graphics. You can tell how good the graphics are on a mobile. Just look how sick the graphics look. Unfortunately, and it makes me really sad. In fact, it's tearing me up inside because a lot of my closest friends aren't able to download the game. The minimum requirements to get this game are iPhone 5S, iPad Air, iPad Mini 2, or anything better than those. The reason why is you have to have the Apple A7 processor chip. And this is due to what After Pulse is doing. It's using Apple Metal within the game that's only available with the A7 chip. And unfortunately, a lot of the older devices don't have that chip. And also, unfortunately, there is no iPod with the A7 chip since they announced it a few years ago. They haven't made an iPod, a new iPod with the A7 chip, so iPod users cannot play this game. I am so sorry. Lastly, you have to be running iOS 9 or higher in order to run the game. Now, the game dropped literally one day ago, and what they're doing is they're bringing it out with this event, this Halloween event, where you can get these cool camouflage snipers, where you can get the Nightcrawler armor I was wearing. That's so sick. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to get into the game. We're going to use the sniper, and here's my secondary weapon, this shotgun. This thing is so sick, so powerful. I guess it's really rare to get it. I got it on my second crate I opened. I got really, really lucky, so that's awesome. Now, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. I'm going to be using this sniper, the M32. It's called the Nightcrawler here because the orange camouflage and what that does, it gives it a little bit of an extra kick and hit power. So sniper gameplay, here we go. First sniper gameplay in After Pulse. And I am playing in the training mode versus bots. I apologize for that. With the game just being released, there's just a lot of server issues right now. I think the servers are overloaded because I'm getting a lot of lag there and was crashing a few times. So I just said, forget it. I'm going into training mode. Let's go ahead and showcase the sniper. So here we are with the sniper. It's a bolt action sniper. And this just brings me back to the days when I used to play Responables. It felt so similar to that. Now, the M32 is your basic bolt-action sniper, but you have 14 rounds in the clip, which is awesome. And what you're going to notice with the snipers in this game, I'm going to be doing reviews as I always do. But what you're going to notice, I accidentally threw the grenade there. That was not intentional. What you're going to notice with the snipers is when you hit the body, it's a two-shot. In fact, there's sometimes if the guy's wearing enough defense or armor, it takes three shots to the body to kill them. Which is a little bit frustrating, but I can see why they did it because this game does have auto-aim and so it makes it a little bit easier to snipe. And so the only way to get a one-shot is you have to headshot the guy. And headshotting is difficult because, again, it has slight auto-aim on it, so it tries to snap to the body. And you're trying to pull the crosshairs to the head and naturally the crosshairs want to snap to the body because of that auto-aim feature. So it's a little difficult. Here I am bringing out the secondary. This shotgun is so stinking powerful i can see me wrecking with this thing it, it seems amazingly good but let's get back to playing the sniper so i'm spawning in the same spot again i keep spawning over here there we go there's a headshot there's a headshot so the weapon's fun uh it, it auto scopes back in so if you want to try to quick scope you need a scope fire scope or it'll just put you right back into the scope which is fine that feels natural to me and while sniper is going to be difficult to use, I think we're going to have a shot. I think us sniper lovers, us guys who are just loyal to the sniper and will just take a beating by other players, I think we got a chance in this game because the maps are bigger and the weapons for the most part are assault weapons or SMGs. Weapons that like aren't super close range. Um, so, you know, you've got some distance and distance is always a good thing when using a sniper because you could... You can maintain distance, get those shots off on guys. And I'm curious, as I start unlocking the other snipers, there's actually, I think, three or four different varieties of snipers. They don't call them snipers. They call them precision weapons, but they're all snipers. And so they each kind of have different ways to play. There's like bolt action, semi-automatic, just a variety of types of snipers. So I'll be, I'll be looking forward to kind of uh, doing reviews on each one of those, comparing and contrasting, as well as all the other weapons out there. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, my sincerest apologies for those of you who can't download the game. Take care, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.